The next four lessons <coughs> of chapter 8 are uh, all connected together. They, they all follow on each other. So if you really want to understand this, it's probably best you watch them in order. The first lesson involves the picture box control, which in terms of the four lessons is really a means to an end because I, I'm not really talking about the picture box so much as I'm talking about the uh, Windows graphics user fi interface, especially the, the basic graphics user interface that's common to almost every Windows application. In my opinion, this user interface uh, involves three sets of, of menus. Uh, the menu strip control, the tool strip control, and the context menu. And actually a good example of this is this to-do program that I, I show you all the time. It's uh, a C-sharp program that I wrote. And at the top is the toolbar. And underneath is the menu bar. And then if you right click, you'll see the uh, context menu that comes up when you right click. We're back to using uh, Visual uh, C Sharp 2008 Express Edition because I don't really need ADO. And we start as always by clicking on the file and then open project, or not open project, uh, file and new project and make it a Windows form application. We'll give it the name, uh, I guess, Windows Basic GUI or Graphic User Interface and then click OK and we get our usual form. I'll drag it out a bit to uh, make it bigger, big enough to show our picture and the first control we want to use is the uh, picture box control. So you can put that on the form by double clicking it or by dragging it on either one. We'll position it towards the middle and make it a little bigger. And you say, that's great, but how do you put a picture in the picture box? And basically the way you do that is make sure it's selected and then go down to the properties and the image property and click on the ellipse. And you get a select resource uh, dialog box. And then click on import. And I have a number of uh, files that are JPEG files that I've pre downloaded off the internet and whatnot. So let's select one, uh, maybe Superman, and click open. And you see the Superman picture. And when you click OK, it actually adds this picture as a resource to your project. So you can actually delete the folder that has the picture in it and the picture will still be associated with the program and the project. So click OK. And then you see Superman appears, but it's the picture box is too small. You can drag this to make it fit, which I probably should do and center it about at that size. But another way you can do this is you can click the uh, common task uh, pop-up and go down to the size mode and then select auto size. And that way if you have pictures that are a slightly different size, they won't leave blank spaces in the picture box. The picture box will adjust to fit the size of the picture. Um, before we go much further, I want to give the form a little more meaningful name. I selected the form. I'm going to go up and give the form the name uh, FRM Heroes and give it more uh, time. Uh, let's 
see. Uh, maybe call it uh, superheroes. And you see the titled superheroes appears in the top of the form. And hopefully I didn't mess it up by not renaming the form before I added a resource to it. <laughs> but we want to select the picture box again and go down to uh, image again and click on the uh, the ellipse. And now we want to select another image to import. And this time make it Batman. I actually use Photoshop to make a Batman that's closer to the right size. And you click OK. And you see Batman's now on there. And what we want to do is do this with several others. I'll just do that while it's paused. And now I've added the five pictures I wanted to add to the picture box. And you can see whichever one I select will be displayed in the picture box when I click OK. But what I really want to do is display none of them. Just click None and click OK. And then if I run the program now, you won't see anything because the picture box will be totally empty, which will allow us to move on to the next lessons, which are really the point of the, the lesson group which is how to do very space-saving uh, graphics user interface controls like the uh, menu strip and the uh, tool strip and the context menu. In fact, the context menu takes up no space at all because it's what appears when you right-click. Uh, well, that it's all for this lesson, so I'll see you the next lesson, which is on the menu strip. Uh,